taking selfies? What is going on? Thank you to EA for allowing me to participate in this event to bring you guys some early Madden 19 footage. But yeah, guys, so it's K here, and we're back with some Madden. Well, I guess we're not back with it because it's brand new. We are bringing you guys some early Madden 19 player career. Before I forget, let's also bring up um that these rosters and ratings and also the game is not complete. So this is not the complete edition. Um, want you guys to know that. So in this video, we are going to create a running back um, and, you know, go through the whole player creation and also get into a game with him. But now let's choose a team. So I wasn't really sure which team to go with as, you know, a lot of teams have good running backs. But ultimately, after thinking about it, I thought the perfect team to play for would be the Cleveland Browns. And mainly why is because, of course, they had the first overall pick and got Baker Mayfield. They do have some decent running backs. So I just thought it'd be fun, you know, just play on the same offense as the number one overall draft pick, you know? But as you can see, while we're scrolling through the roster, um, they actually have a decent team on paper. The question is, will they be able to play better than last year? And I'm, I'm sure, I'm, I freaking hope so, because they, did, they didn't win a game. Yeah, not hard to beat. They only let us do offensive players. I wanted to do defense for the archetype You know, there's a power back elusive back and a receiving back Let, Let's be the Barry Sanders esque back for this uh, short player career the undrafted the late pick the early We went with the early draft pick if you guys don't know my name's Eli Lewis But you know, let's be K Lewis. Why not? We made a player left-handed as well I'm partially left-handed. I throw a football with my left hand and for college We decided to go with UCF because I actually lived five minutes away from UCF um, when I lived in Florida for his heights, let's go with 510. I felt like that was, you know, that was about right. You know, I didn't want to be too big, too small, too compact. We made our guy Asian because, well, I'm Asian. It makes sense, right? Some pretty big legs. So we gave our side, we gave ourselves, you know, uh, decent, you know, decent lower body strength. Now for the equipment. So I'm not a huge equipment guy, uh, but I know a lot of you guys are. So I am going to scroll through some of this. So I think the Vices is new. So we decided to go with the Vices three bar running back. Neck pad. Looks like some moldy cheese. I I'll pass. I don't want to get an infection or anything. For the shoes, like I said, I'm going to scroll through some of this um, just for you guys. Uh, but while we scroll through some of the equipment, also want to bring up, I'm thinking about doing a Madden 19 giveaway, possibly giving out maybe 10, maybe 20 copies. I don't know, later on in the year. If you want me to do that, hit the like button um, and I can get that done for you guys. This will not be my uh, creative player that I use for Madden 19. This is more like an early look. When I actually do create a player, for Man 19 player career, my official guy will be a defensive player, and I promise you this year I'll actually keep up with it. Here's a little look at our player. Here's a look at our stats. Um, yeah, let's get to it. There's our guy stretching in the locker room. The, the hairline's a little messy. Texting away. I don't know who you, what girl you're texting with that haircut, that's for sure. But anyways, so in the first game, we're going to be taking on the division rivals, the Pittsburgh Steelers, a.k.a. A very freaking good team, you know, um, and also for the upgrades. They did it different this year instead of experience They do it through a skill point as you can see choose which one you want to increase your skill in So we might as well just make ourselves more elusive and choose the elusive back uh, Upgrade right 29 ranked halfback in the league based on his overall rating putting him in the top 13% of halfbacks Really top 13% if I'm the number ranked 29 that seems pretty low considering considering there's 32 teams We got a squad man and including this beast that's looking looking to bounce back from, you know, his last few years, uh, Josh Gordon. And, of course, we have Miles Garrett, the number one overall draft pick. So, this team got some talent, man. But, no further ado, let's get to game number one of the season versus the Steelers and Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, and so on and so forth. Let's get it. Yo, Madden is trying to expose us or something, man. Trying to compare Antonio Brown to Jarvis Landry. That's not even fair. But, anyways, let's get to the game. How is this going to go. Pittsburgh on their starting drive, they're able to score with ease. So Baker Mayfield, I and the Browns offense are on the field for the very first play. We go to the counter run. We see a corner and we completely clear him. We hurdle him for a 75 yard touchdown to the house. And you know, now you can choose to celebrate in the end zone, which is pretty dope. I chose my signature Selly. I just made it to the NFL, so I don't have a signature yet. Makes sense, but beautiful hurdle. Not a bad way to start off a game or, you know, your very first touch. Looking like this may be a breeze. Maybe not as on the kick return we get completely stopped. So, uh, Pittsburgh has to punt as you guys saw. 7-7. Seven seven. We go with an inside run and we get completely hammered right there. We got kind of lucky on our first play. Not lucky, but, you know, it's not going to be as easy as it looked. Wide open the backfield. Beautiful pickup on second and 10. 25 yards. Also, Baker Mayfield's 
first completion in the NFL. We'll go with the four verts. Once again, they're covering over the top, but I'm wide open on the check down. Beautiful gain of roughly 17, 18. First and 10, lined up in the pistol, looking to block. Wide open, tight end on the crossing route. Down in the red zone, down on the five. Halfback pitch, great blocking. They make contact, but we are able to fight forward into the end zone. That is another rushing touchdown in the first quarter. So Pittsburgh's able to score back. Not really a shocker with their beast offense. And a terrible pass by Baker. I don't know what he's doing, but hey, it's all good. We're able to drive forward five yards there. Third and six. You guys know the curls get the girls. Baker Mayfield finds Josh Gordon for a first down pickup. Now to the second quarter with the play action bomb, son. Baker Mayfield gets sacked. The hype music kind of may have threw you off. The defense steps it up. Three and out. So Pittsburgh has to punt on fourth and 15. Looking for somewhere to go. We get a decent return. Not bad. First and 10. Almost in field goal range. Baker dropping back. Looking for an open man. Rolls out and finds a wide open Josh Gordon on a dig route. Breaking tackles. Down on the 23 in field goal range now. With a little play action again. And Baker just... <laughs> Baker gets completely destroyed by John Bostic. Third and 10. And Baker gets smashed. <laughs> Good thing, though, after those sacks, we're still able to score three. Um, so we're now up by three points after Pittsburgh has to punt the ball. Once again, we're doing a good job of stopping them. Go with the counter run. Beautiful blocking. And then the corner just lights us up. The Steelers are doing a great job at stopping us. Looking for an inside route. And dropped by the fullback. <sighs> Coach, why are you talking to me? But after we punted, Pittsburgh was able to score a touchdown. So they're now up by four points. Go with the counter run. And we get shut down completely. Second and 13. Looks like a blitz off the left side. Go with a little play action. Open the backfield up, but the pressure gets there. Hargrave with the sack. So we had a punt again. And then Pittsburgh is now up by 11 points. Not good. And their defense is just playing physical, destroying me, destroying Baker. But Baker throwing the defender off, scrambling for a big first down on third and 14. Showing that flash of dash, man. Showing exactly what he was endorsing in college. Go with the power run. Nowhere to go. We were playing extremely bad in the second half. Slam pass. Beautiful pickup. Third and three. A little power run. And we get shut down from the back end. We need some blocking, man. Fourth and five. After we punt, we were able to shut down Pittsburgh on their next drive. So we get the ball back. Go with a little halfback crack. And beautiful, beautiful blocking. And nuts to the face. 21. We're going with an all-go. Baker Mayfield rolling out of the pocket. We're open, but he decides to take it himself. Good juke. Uh, Seven-yard pickup. Not bad. Fourth and three. We have to go for it as we're in the fourth quarter. Power run, and we are just fighting forward for a first down pickup. Baker dropping back. What a catch by, I believe, Jarvis Landry for a first down. That was a hard one. Power run again. Being patient. And worse, continuing to fight. Considering the circumstances, not a bad run. Third and seven. Wide open on the slam pass is Josh Gordon. This offense, man, is stacked if you actually look at it on paper. Power run. Amazing blocking. No one on the right side. And we, of course, got to do a little team celebration in here. And it's looking like our offensive lineman is tucking, tucking us into bed or something. <laughs> got to go for the two-point conversion and make it a field goal game. And what? completely out of bounds. But, hey, good coverage for the most part. So... Three minutes left in the game. Pittsburgh has to punt. Beautiful three and out by the defense. Baker rolling out. We're wide open. Good throw. Big pickup. Broken tackle. Down and bounce. One minute and 20 seconds left in scoring distance. But we can't settle for three. We got to go for six, man, as we're down by five. And then an injury on Pittsburgh, which saves us as they have to use a timeout, which means we get to hold all of our timeouts. Power run. Beautiful blocking and a 12-yard pickup. We're driving. Third and goal. After some unsuccessful runs. Wide open is the tight end. That's six. Got to go for the two-pointer. We are completely shut down. So Pittsburgh, if they score field goal, they will win. Good thing, though, our defense shuts them down. So the Browns get their first victory in like a year. Now for the stats. So Baker Mayfield, he, he played pretty decent for rookie. You know, no turnovers. Um, could have thrown better, but hey, overall, he was showing some flash, man. Antonio Brown, no shocker, led their offense uh, with receiving yards. And we led Cleveland in the receiving yards with 77. Um, and then even rushing, of course, we took over, man. What the? My 
dude's taking selfies. What is going on? I mean, shoot, you better be happy. You got the first Browns victory in like a year. But anyways, we're gonna wrap this video up. Just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button. Leave some love in the comment section. And I'm out. Love you guys.